In the field of AI, could it be that all models are converging towards an ideal representation of reality? This fascinating visualization shows how large language models aligned with vision models perform better on challenging tasks. Stay tuned to find out more. Yeah, that's really interesting. It's like these models are heading towards the same goal, capturing a more accurate depiction of the world. Welcome to AI Breakdown. Today we dive into the platonic representation hypothesis. This paper explores how various neural network models, regardless of their specific training objectives or data modalities, seem to converge toward a shared statistical model of reality. Let's get into the details. The idea is that despite differences in training and data, these models end up learning similar representations. It's a fascinating concept that challenges some of our basic assumptions about AI. The platonic representation hypothesis posits that as models are trained on more data and a broader array of tasks, their internal representations align more closely, capturing an idealized version of reality. This paper explores various factors and evidence supporting this hypothesis, including alignment in different architectures and data modalities. When we say internal representations, we mean the way models internally structure and understand data. So Megan, what specific evidence do they present? They look at alignment in models designed for different tasks and built using different architectures like vision models and language models. And they notice these representations start to look very similar. Representational convergence has been observed among vision models. For example, mutual nearest neighbors analysis on places 365 and VTAB tasks shows that as models solve more tasks, they align more with each other. High transfer performance models form tightly clustered sets of representations as seen in multiple studies. So the more tasks these vision models tackle, the more their internal structures become similar. That's pretty cool. This clustering indicates these models are capturing some universal truth in the data, which strengthens the hypothesis. Cross-modal alignment between language and vision models has also been observed. For example, a single linear projection can align a vision model with a large language model, emphasizing a unifying trend in representational convergence across different data modalities. Essentially, you can map one model's outputs onto another's with a simple transformation. That's a powerful indication they're learning something fundamentally similar. It's like finding a common language that bridges different types of data, making it easier for these models to understand one another. There's compelling evidence that models aligned more closely to each other perform better on downstream tasks. This is illustrated by Figure 4, which shows a strong correlation between alignment scores and performance on complex tasks like common sense reasoning and mathematical problem solving. Better alignment often means better performance on real-world problems. That makes a lot of sense. The models aren't just aligning for the sake of it. There's a tangible benefit. This suggests that representational convergence isn't just an academic curiosity, it's practically useful. The paper proposes three main hypotheses for convergence, multitask scaling, model capacity, and simplicity bias. Increasing the number of tasks, larger model capacities, and an inherent bias towards simpler solutions all contribute to this intriguing phenomenon. Multitask scaling means training on a variety of tasks to broaden the model's experience. Model capacity refers to the size of the network. And simplicity bias means the models prefer simpler, more efficient ways to represent data. These factors acting together push different models towards similar representations of the data they process. Figure 7 illustrates the simplicity bias hypothesis, which suggests that larger models naturally gravitate towards simpler, more effective representations. This inherent simplicity bias increases the likelihood of different models converging to similar solutions. So bigger models are, in a way, designed to find the simplest explanation for lots of data. That's fascinating and quite logical. It aligns with the principle of Occam's razor. Simpler solutions are preferable when all else is equal. The implications of representational convergence extend beyond individual tasks. 
Combining scaling and cross-modality training data points towards creating more proficient models across different domains. However, understanding the limitations and potential counterexamples remains crucial. It's important to recognize that while convergence offers many benefits, it's not a perfect solution. We need to be aware of situations where this convergence doesn't happen or might fail. This is where further research will be critical to understand the boundaries and exceptions of this hypothesis. That's a wrap on today's episode of AI Breakdown. We've explored the compelling idea of the platonic representation hypothesis and how it might reshape our understanding of AI model convergence. Stay tuned for more insights into groundbreaking AI research. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more deep dives into the fascinating world of AI research. Thanks for joining us today.